the most of the body work, um, body parts glued together. I just don't have the main body all the way together. Um, here I am with a wing section, and um, right here I've had to smooth it out. Um, it didn't meet quite right there. It didn't meet quite right here. I'm going to have to put some putty in there. And if I show you here, you see what I mean, how it didn't meet quite right. Also, how it left a gap there. It met right here, but not there. So. I'll have to do some putty work on the wings to make them work. Well, the other thing was this came bent out of the package. Um, that's, I, you know, you, you know, no model is perfect. You're always going to have little things like that. But um, once you get, I get the, the, um, the pylons and the cells on, I'll be able to putty that and sand it and make it smooth. So a little bit on that. And the next part I'm talking about, I have to um, <clears throat> have to reshoot um, right up in here, these little parts, these little rigid things in the middle here, um, parts number 29 and 30. Um, the directions have them swapped, at least the numbers swapped. The pictures were right as far as it would fit the mold, but the numbers were wrong. So uh, on this model, the Katinga class battle cruiser, the Katinga class battle cruiser, part assembly, bridge assembly three those rigid sections, they look like little sawtooths, uh, the numbers were reversed. So if you do this model, whoops, if you do this model, uh, know that, and you're probably going to have to fix that. Back again, um, just to show off some other issues, um, did not meet right there when glued the pieces together, so that's another spot I'm going to have to putty. Um, I have smoothed out most of the seam lines. Um, that's something that's sort of a pet peeve of mine. Um, and I'll have to get in there and uh, putty in that area and smooth it out again. That's another spot that didn't uh, um, meet too well. Uh, let's see, any other places that didn't meet too well. Up here in the engineering section, there's a gap right in there. I'll fix that. So that was the impulse engine. And back here, yeah right in there. I'll fix, try to fix that. Um, it didn't meet well down here. Um, so spots here, I'll have to smooth that out. Um, but you know, that's just par for the course. It is a purchased model. You know, I'm a plastic model kit. You know, it's not a, a real expensive one, but I'm sure even the real expensive ones have uh, issues. Anyway, uh, the nacelles are drying uh, right now and uh, Probably the next time I check in with this, I will have done a number of, um, of putty applications. And actually, when I use putty, I don't use putty. I use spackle. So um, spackle is a lot less expensive, and it works just as well. I've used it for years. So anyway, I will fix up all these little ends. Actually, that's going to be the last one that gets fixed up because that won't get fixed up until the, the cells are attached. So, all right. Catch you on the flip side.